By the end of round two, you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 stitches. This is the chain one and this is the first single crochet. We're going to insert our hook in there and work a slip stitch to close the round. You can snip the yarn and pull through. I like to tie a knot. To secure the magic ring, I also like to tie a knot with that initial yarn tail. You should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 stitches. This here does not count as a stitch because your slip stitch overtook it. For round 3, you're going to insert your hook into any stitch and add your new yarn. You're going to work a cluster in each stitch around, and you can see how to do this in my full YouTube video. This is where you're going to work your next cluster. This stitch is the slip stitch from the previous round. We're not going to work our next cluster here because that's the stitch that got overtaken, but instead this one here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's the stitch in which we work the next cluster. If you get a little bit of a strange gap here, you can just pull this yarn tail and that gap disappears. Continue working clusters in each stitch around, and by the end, you should have 12 clusters. Slip stitch to close and you are done your daisy.